Hi everyone, Steve Williams from Clean Solar Solutions. Just thought we would uh, show you a short video of what can happen when Lycan gets a hold of a uh, ground mounted solar farm. So just a bit of background on this site. Um, we cleaned it about two and a half years ago. Um, we recommended a six monthly schedule of cleaning to the clients because as I'll show you in a moment, the, uh, the whole of the solar farm is surrounded. It's very small, but it's surrounded by a lot of oak trees. And so the oak trees have the effect of accelerating the lichen growth. So the system was installed in 2015, brand new. The uh, solar panels were not clean for a few years and then lichen became a big, big part of the, uh, of the issue here on the solar farm. The lichen accelerated to the point where we were called in. We uh, carried out a chemical clean on the array and we removed all of the lichen from every single panel. We recommended to the client a schedule of six monthly cleaning. Sadly, this was ignored and they went nearly two years without a clean. And when we came back, we found the site in a poor condition. So I'll just show you what happened uh, when we returned to site. So when we returned to site, because the client hadn't followed the six monthly recommended schedule, we found the panels in uh, a condition worse than this. Um, so these solar panels have already been cleaned six months ago and uh, we're back to carry out another clean six months later. And what we're doing is we're robotically cleaning the solar panels each time that we come. And the solar panel cleaning robot will remove a percentage of the lichen each time that we come also. And so the client doesn't want to spend uh, the money on a chemical clean again, having done it once uh, they don't want to spend the money on a second chemical clean. So by cleaning with the robot each time, multiple cleans over a six monthly period will bring all of the lichen off these panels over time. So this is why we say to people, if you have a solar farm that's surrounded by trees, here we can see numerous oak trees that are within 50 meters of this solar farm. And they're at the back as well. And so there's oak trees all of which will be contributing toward the lichen growth. So it's very important if you've got edges of your solar farms that are within 50 meters of the oak trees that these are cleaned more frequently than the center because this is where the lichen is going to grow. And if you have your panel cleaning company say to you, well, you need to increase the uh, cleaning frequency in order to stop the lichen from growing. Well, this is the reason why, because if it's ignored, the solar panels end up in this state. So just to recap, this site built about five years ago, the panels weren't cleaned for two and a half years. The lichen grew. We came in and carried out a chemical clean of these solar panels. They were brought back to a new condition. We recommended six monthly cleaning. This was ignored. And then we came back two years later to find the panels in a worse condition than this. We cleaned the panels with the robot. Some of the lichen was removed and then we're carrying out another clean today where we'll remove more of the lichen. And each time we come from a six monthly cleaning schedule from now on, more and more of this lichen will be removed. So here you can see the robot at work, removing an awful lot of this lichen. And we're confident that in a few cleans time, the panels will be lichen free. Thanks for watching.